Hi guys, it's Angie Bell with My Fairy Treasures. We're in my backyard. You guys are like, girl, what are you doing? Everybody wants to know what I'm doing, what's going on. So, I, mean, I told you guys, I'm, I'm still doing my mixed media, I'm still knitting, but I'm working in my garden, and also I am making the wardrobe of my life, magnolia style, magnolia pearl style. But today, I'm in my backyard, and, um, I'm making my patio like a total living area. Quick story behind what I'm doing. I got this table, and that's what we're going to be working on. Um, we're going to paint this table, but it's a different way of painting the table. Um, I got this table for $10 at Goodwill. Well, the story is, I went to, I, I, I paid for the table. I had to go back with my husband with the truck. So then... Uh, you have to go. So I went. I got my husband. Went back to um, Goodwill, and you have to go to the back of the store to pick up the table. So he, the guy puts the table in the back of the car. I go, oh, what's over in that pile? He goes, junk. I go, for free. He goes, if you want. You know me. I'm a scavenger. I found an armoire, not a real tall armoire, but a nice armoire. It's out here. We're gonna paint that too, and I'll do that on video. We're gonna do a distress painting technique on that. It's gonna look fabulous. And then I got another like shelf unit like thing that's not too tall, but nice and wide. So I mean, we're going to do a distress painting on that. And I put them in the corners of this, of my patio. So I have a big table that we spent tons of money. It's made out of cement. It's beautiful. It's all tiled and everything. That's in the center. Then um, I have, you know what, at the end of this video, I'll kind of show you what, it looks a mess right now because I'm working on stuff. I'll show you what it looks like. I have an armoire, I have that shelving unit, and then um, about five or six months ago, I found, well, I'll just tell you, over the last year, I found all three of these tables. They're um, like iron tables with tiles. People just throw these things away. So, um, oh, actually, the, t the tile table, one of them, with, it's an iron table with tiles. I got that for free off the street in my neighborhood. The other two, came from that pile behind the Goodwill. So you guys, check your Goodwills out. That's go behind, because that's where they load you up. But they might have a pile of stuff that they're throwing away. Good stuff, too. All right, I'm going to bring the camera down and explain what I'm doing, okay? So you may or may not be able to see me now. So let me uh, bring the camera down. Okay, we'll bring it down like that. Okay, so this is the table that I paid, that I went to uh, Goodwill for originally. And excuse my grubbies, but this is my grubby t-shirt. Believe me, when you do this, you need to have a grubby t-shirt on. Um, that you don't care about getting paid on. Um, this is the table I got for 10 bucks. It's a nice table, but I do want to make it more outdoor worthy because this is going to be my propagation table where I propagate my plants. Also, spray it off. It can also be used. You can sit at it and eat at it too. So... What I'm doing is, let me come around. Let me make sure you guys can see me. Yeah, you can. I know you can't see me. You can see me, but you can't see my face anymore, but that's fine. So, what this is right here, it looks crazy. But what it is, is this is paint and sand. I learned this from Christopher Lull, God, 20 years ago probably. You take house paint or outdoor paint. And I get the oops paints from, um, excuse me, I get the oops paints from Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever. I'm always buying the oops paints. For a gallon of oops paints, it used to be five bucks, now it's ten. But you know what? Paint now is like 30, 40, 50 bucks. Why do I have the hiccups? Um, so you want to buy some house paint or outdoor paint. Um, do you have to buy a gallon? No, you can buy the little small pints if you want. That'll be enough. Okay, and whatever color. Out here, and you can do this, and I used to, I did a uh, coffee table like this for my living room, so you can also do this for indoors too. It, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your paint, I put mine in a, um, this is a um, milk jug, I just cut the top off, so we just throw this away and we're done. Then, so you're gonna put some paint in there. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> I put about, I don't know, that much paint. And then you're going to take some sand. Okay, that's sand in there. So I bought a whole thing of play sand from Home Depot. 
it was about five bucks for the bag of sand. Bag of sand. Excuse me, I got the hiccups. And um, you're gonna take that sand and you're gonna pour that in here. What you wanna do is you wanna pour enough sand <coughs> that it's really pretty thick, but still kind of you can use it on a brush and paint it still. So see, you want it like this. So you want it pretty thick. You want to be able to still put it on your on your table, kind of trowel it on with your paintbrush. And the paintbrush I got was this, this this size paintbrush. Okay, I got that at Dollar Tree. You can also pick it up at Home Depot, but you know you're gonna pay a dollar at Dollar Tree. Dude. <coughs> Just a second, guys. Let me get some water. And when you do this, it gives like a stucco finish. It's really, really cool. I don't know if you guys remember who Christopher Lull is. Christopher Lull had his own show, his own um, his own uh, home design, a home decorating show on HGTV. I loved him. He used to be a um, a set designer for Disney. So this is things they did on Disney. I'm like, oh. So he gave us all a lot of tricks and stuff that they did on the different sets for Disney. Anyway, so... You're troweling on with your paint, big old wide paintbrush. See the size? Okay. Let me put my paint down on the ground. Oh, also, I've been um, planting a lot of pots. I, I plant in the ground, but I've been planting a lot of pots. Well, you know the bags that are left over from, the, um, from your, your potting soil? Cut those up one side and then the bottom, and you can use them for um, tarps. So this is all tarped out because this does drip over the edge. Okay, so tarp everything okay tarp it but you can get free tarps if you have some soil bags so save your soil bags um because this will drip and you want to put it on fairly thick you guys can see how i'm doing it do it thick enough so you don't see the table and like i said you want to make it pretty thick you want it um to be able to kind of be able to spread it around but you still want it really thick. You don't want it anything like paint. So when this dries, oh, and to prepare the table, what did I do? To prepare the table, I just used some vinegar water. Um, some vinegar water and wipe the table down. That's it. I didn't prime this or nothing. You don't have to. This will stick to this table so beautifully. It's weird that I still have this in my head because I did this, like I said, probably 20 years ago to a coffee table that I had in my house. See how I can still spread it around? And it's going to fall over the edges. Let it fall over the edges. And you're going to do this to this entire table. So, um, you know what? I'm about to run out of paint. So you're going to be able to watch me mix some more together too. You know what I'm going to do because I'm at the bottom of this? And I thought a milk carton was just genius. I'm like, what can I mix this in? I'm like, oh yeah, my milk cartons. We have plenty of milk cartons in this family, so. Every day. My husband drinks a gallon of milk a day, and I'm not lying, a gallon. So you guys can see me mix some more of this together, so that'll be good. So I just put a bunch right here. Let's just kind of spread this out. And I was thinking it would be better if I used a trowel or if I used a paintbrush. And I kind of like the paintbrush better because it kind of like moves it. And you can just kind of keep things kind of even. And this is so cool once it dries, you guys, it looks like stone. So I'll come back on here um, and show you guys how it looks once it's dry. But let's let me um, let's mix some more together, okay? And my bag of sand is back here. Can you see it's in the wheelbarrow? This is the bag of sand right here, okay? It's in a big nice nice bag of sand. Um, the bag of sand is in my wheelbarrow. It's heavy as hell, so I can't be bringing that up here. That's why I have it in that cup. Okay, so 
going to come a little closer to this. So I'm just going to pour some in here. What I usually like to try to catch the... I usually use my brush to catch the rest of the paint. But I can't use my brush because i got sand on it, so I'll just use this paper towel. This makes it better so you can kind of close your paint. Let me throw this in the garbage. Right back. Making sure there's no ants below me. You know, when you're outside in nature, the ants can get you. Okay. You know, that's probably the bug that I can't stand the most is some damp ants. They drive me nuts. Because they're so plentiful. There'll be tons of them. And everything you know, they're crawling up your legs, biting your ass. Anyway. All right. So I just poured one cup of sand in there. I'm going to throw another cup of sand in there. So these are coffee cup bowls. So. So I don't have exact measurements. You just want to make it so it's spreadable but still pretty thick. So right now, I have now put three cups of uh, sand in here, three coffee cup bowls, with about that much paint. Okay, about right there. So about half of this I put paint in, and then I'm putting tons of sand in here. So, so far I have three coffee cups full of paint, or full of sand. I'm about to put another one. Here's four. I'm just mixing it till I get, okay, there we go. You want it to get pretty thick where it's, you can still mix it, but it takes a little effort. You want it really thick, but you want it spreadable. I'm gonna do another half a cup. And it's so nice out here this morning. I um, got out here I think it's about seven. I had to go to Home Depot this morning to get the sand, or I would have started at six. But in Vegas, it's nice in the morning, so it's really, really nice here in the mornings. It's hot as hell by the afternoon, but in the morning, you get up, garden, do your stuff outside, it's really nice. Up until about 8.30, 9 o'clock. 8.39, you want to be in the house, but until then, it's pretty nice. Okay, so you saw me mix that together. Trowel some more on here. Trowel paint. All the same crap. Okay. And you want to start at one end and just move on down because you're going to have drips and you don't want it dripping on you and stuff like that and it'll be a lot cleaner. Then you don't have to let this all dry. You don't have to go back over that. Make sure you have those tarps down because it's going to fall off up onto the ground. And how thick do you want to put it on? Put it on as thick as so that you don't see the, any of the white table left. The paint and sand mixture makes just a beautiful like stucco finish. This table will look like it was carved out of stone when we're done. Let me put my sunglasses back on. The sun is coming through those trees. And then at the end of the video, I will uh, show you guys um, the other stuff I got for free. Like I said, this trade table was 10 bucks at uh, Goodwill, but I'll show you all the stuff I got for free. Oh, I even got, this is a good thing for people who love gardening, or just make your backyard look cool. Um, uh, what is it? Headboards. 
like the iron looking headboard headboards i love to get those and they're always like people are always throwing headboards away those are the ones that are made of iron that's the ones i like because the, the, the scrolling is really cool and i put them in the back on the wall of my of my garden beds and it just looks really really cool i learned that a long time ago on hgtv i used to watch all the gardening shows and they always do it and i thought oh that's so neat so i've been doing it ever since tell me how many um I'm trying to see how many of those um, headboards I have back here. But I always get the iron ones. The ones, the iron or metal ones. Those kind. They look all scrolly. Not the solid ones. Um, I have one, two, three. I have three back here right now. And I got one of those head, those um, iron headboards. Or metal headboards. Uh, for free. When I was um, getting this table. It was a major score that day. I was like, oh my goodness. In fact, it was a major score the whole weekend. This was on like I think a, I think that was on Saturday. I did. I think both of them was on Friday. Friday morning. This was last week. I went uh, to this garage sale, and this dude said everything's twenty five cents. I'm like, what? He goes twenty five cents. Um, I'm an eBay reseller, so I bought quite a bit of clothes for a quarter a piece. Some of these clothes are worth anywhere between re um, you know, to resell them on eBay. They're I sold them, I, I listed them anywhere between nine to twenty dollars. I bought them for a quarter. I was like, oh my goodness. Um I bought some really pretty like glass balls that I put in a bit in, in this like a really cool irony base out here for out, for outdoor decor for 25 cents. Um well he gave me those for free. Um what else did I get from him? Oh, I'll tell you one other thing I got. Oh, wait. Uh, clothes from him. The hat. Oh, I'll show you what else I got for him for 45 cents a piece. Heck, I'll just show you some of the things. I'm just showing you guys this stuff so when you're going to decorate in your house or outdoor your house, you can really just do it for nothing. Look, I got these. These candle holders, 25 cents a piece. Aren't they fabulous? I put them outside on my table. Look, I got them. If you have an eye, you can decorate for pennies. I'll show you something else. This is the other thing I got for, this I got for free. Okay, now this right here, I got, see this thing, isn't this cool? I got that probably for a buck at a garage sale. These he gave me for free. I got two of them. Aren't they beautiful? Look at those. So I put two of them in here. Now I have garden art for my table, which I got for free, the tile table. So if you always have your eyes open, ask questions, you can get stuff dirt cheap for free. Decorate your house, have an eBay store for pennies on the dollar or for free. Yesterday I was at Savers buying a bunch of different clothing that I'm going to re revamp to do the Magnolia Pearl type of clothing. And um, it was dull. it was everything, um, what was it? Everything's 50% off on Mondays, which I just found out. They had this really big oversized chair made all of wood and it was very rustic looking and it was only going to be $5, regularly 10 I saw it on the way out. It was outside. The line was really big, so I didn't want to get back in that line. But I've been thinking about that chair ever since. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on Monday again when everything's half off. And if that chair is still there, that's the first thing I'm going to pick up. I got some, yesterday I got some really, really cool stuff to make the uh, Magnolia Pearl style clothing that, uh, remember I told you the lady, uh, it's, I think it's Timers, T-Y-M-E-R-S. Um, she, um, she teaches you how to make all those type of clothes by altering and cutting off and doing all this cool stuff with, with uh, thrift clothes. It's so cool. Or clothes out of your own closet. 
So I bought a bunch of cool stuff yesterday for half off. So I got some cool stuff coming. I will probably be doing any of the clothing videos, the Magnolia Pearl inspired clothing videos for a few weeks, probably about a month. Because I'm learning right now. I'm still I'm going through and learning it. But look how cool this is turning out, you guys. Isn't this cool? All right, we're down at the end of this again. So let me pour it out on here. This might be enough for the rest of this. We'll see. I thought I heard something. Guys, so I'm getting quiet. I'm just digging this out. We're probably gonna have to make a little bit more, of course, right at the end. So I still, I'm not gonna do the legs. I have to do the legs and the sides, but I want to wait for this to dry first before I do the legs and the sides. Where do I want to put this at? That's the good thing about wearing a grubby shirt. I can just go like this with my hands. Okay. Yeah, I got, isn't that always the way? I gotta make a tiny bit more. So what we'll do is, we'll let this dry, I'll make up some more, let this dry, and then once this is dried, I will come back on the same video, you guys. Um, we're going to let this dry, I'll come back so then you guys can see how cool this looks. And you know what, I feel like there needs to be more sand right there, so you know what? Like if you see a place and it looks like there's like the sand has disappeared too much and it's not enough texture for you, just throw some more sand on top. And then we'll, we'll pounce it in. I'm glad that happened so I can show you guys. So let's just pounce that in. So I'm mixing it right on the table together. Cool, huh? Alright, and then kind of level it out again. But I just looked at that and it just looked like there wasn't enough texture. You want that sandy texture. Perfect. Alright. You know, let me, while this is drying, you guys, excuse my, I'm going to take this, I'm going to take you off the tripod here, and I'm going to show you a few things. Let me turn the camera around. Where's the thing to turn it around? Can I turn my camera around? This should do it. Is that it? No, that ain't it. Where is the thing to turn my camera around? What is this? All right, there, is that how you turn? Okay, there we go. So I'm turning my camera around. Excuse, while well, it's gonna look, everything's gonna look a little crazy for a second. All right, so I wanna show you guys the things I found. Oh, sorry, I almost dropped my camera. Um, see that right there? That's the armoire I was talking about. There's There are shelves for it. Let me just show you. 
Let me, let me see where I can hold my camera at. Okay. I don't want to turn my camera off. to see where I can handle it. I'm off the tripod, you guys, so bear with me. See, there's even a drawer at the bottom. So there's the armoire. There's no back in it, which is fine because I'm doing this for outdoor furniture for my house. We're going to distress paint this. Those shelves are on top. See? Okay, now let me show you. This is a beautiful table that we bought a long time ago. It was expensive as hell, too. But, you know, we'll have it forever. See that table? Isn't that nice? Now, this is all the stuff of garden decor that I'm working on from my uh, backyard. So that's why all, what all this stuff is. That's why it looks crazy. But look at the look at the table. Isn't that a beautiful table? Put the tiles on the end. And that's the benches that go with it. Real nice. Anyway, let me show you some more stuff that I got for free. So I got that armoire for free from the back of the Goodwill. And then see, this is what I'm talking about. How I put the, um, the uh, headboard, like the iron or metal head, headboard. Isn't that nice? Look how big it is. And then you know what I like about it is look at the, look at the pretty little knobs on the ends. Okay, so now let's go to another thing that I got for free. Just a second. I gotta take my glasses off and move this box out of the way. Okay. Let me find a better angle. Here we go. See that? Isn't that cool? So where I have everything placed is where they're going to stay at. So I'm creating like this outdoor living room on my patio. It looks fabulous. So that's going to be distress painted too. And I'll show you that technique of that. All right. So now I'm going to show you. We're going to keep going. Let me show you the tables that I got for free. Oh, this is a whole little plant. Isn't that pretty? A little plant garden. Now, the, I have a lot of aloe vera in these, in these pots. The, the uh, terracotta and white pots, you guys, I got those for at Dollar Tree. For a dollar when they were a dollar. Look how nice they are. You don't ever get pots that big at Dollar Tree. I picked up 20 of them. Because I knew. I was like, uh, yeah. Now, you see a lot of uh, aloe vera cactus, which I love. But there's a bunch of flowers in these. I just threw seeds. So this, cause this is going to be totally different in about a month. So I'll show you this little pot garden again that's on my patio. Because a ton of seeds. There's all kinds of stuff. There's flowers and herbs and um, some vegetables mixed in here. So it's pretty cool. All right. Let me show you this table. All right. See the table in the middle? Look at that. How nice that is. Let me come up a little closer. And see how I have it all decorated up nice? That was for free. Can you believe that? They threw away this tile table. This will probably cost three or four hundred dollars. This I got, um, I think a garage sale. Maybe I was given that. I can't remember. These are those uh, candle holders right here. Garage sale, garage sale. These actually I paid a little money for, these little ants. Aren't they cute? They're five or six dollars a piece. Aren't they cute? And a real cool stone. So that's how I decorated up the table. Now, these, these I got for free. Well, I got that one for free also off, in my neighborhood off the streets. But this is the one I got from uh, Home Depot. Not Home Depot. I got Home Depot on the brain. Goodwill. Look at that table. Isn't that cool? And then it has a tile in the middle. I think glass originally went on top of it, but who cares? And then this thing is really cool. I got this at Hobby Lobby for like two or three dollars during the spring sale, which they're having right now, 75% off. Pretty soon it'll be 90. I like to go when it's 90%. But I picked that up for three or four bucks. Isn't that cool? I'll probably put a plant in there. All right, and then this is another one. I got two of them. Can you believe that? Look at that. For free. Behind the Goodwill. And then I just showed you this thing. So if you just keep your eyes open, you guys can decorate your house, your backyard for pennies on the dollar. I'm going to show you guys one more thing. Wow, this paint's drying. All right. See these? I'm going to come down low. See these right here? Don't those look cool? 
all these are is you know the um the buckets when you get done um gardening i'm gonna come back up it's what you're um oh you're out here kyle you're scaring me um they're the um the buckets that your plants come in from the garden center well i took a stencil a really cool stencil that says farmer's market on it and took white paint that i made chalk paint out of which is just made out of uh like white acrylic paint um plaster of paris and some water and i'll show you guys how to do all this and then you can turn those in that quickly into these little buckets or into these little planters for free and you know what you can go to your garden center or go to like any garden center and and pick these up not at home depot but a true garden center for like a quarter a piece but if you just pay attention to the uh, to the guys on the street who are planting like different little corners or um, subdivisions or um, retail stores, you can pick them up for free. I, I've done it several times, they give them to me for free. I get this size and even the real big ones. In fact, I'll show you, okay, I'll show you another painting technique that you can do with these, with chalk paint, with my, with my um, homemade chalk paint. All right, follow me. Let you see the garden while I, I don't know what you guys are seeing, but I gotta pay attention so I don't fall into the pool. Okay, again, that same stencil, that's a pot. Now I have, um, I have um, chicken wire on top of these, um, on top of my buckets because the birds like to eat my seeds like um the big seeds and these are all a lot of these are some of these are sunflowers so i'm protecting my sunflowers while they grow in but anyway so look i did that to a um to a big po old pot and then i did another little section of those and if it looks a little messy too that just adds to it it looks really cool it makes it look more aged now check out these pots these are those pots from um the big five gallon ones that you get trees in and stuff or this the big five gallon plants there's a smaller, a small one, and there's a small one. Look how I painted these. This is all with that homemade chalk paint. A whole nother little garden over here. Those all have seeds in them. So it's gonna be beautiful once the seeds come up. And then let me show you this. While, while I'm here, that I found, oh, I hope I can see. I hope you guys are seeing this. I found this on the streets. It's like a, um, like a divider. It's made out of metal. And it was broken, so I have one piece there, and I have another piece somewhere else. Anyway, I just used it as wall art on my wall. And if I plant something back there, it can crawl up it. And then all of those little cool little welcome things with the butterflies and the hummingbirds, Dollar Tree. And then let me show you this while we're here too. See this? That is, I got these for free from a garage sale. These are cabinet doors. I think they're pantry doors. And I used my chalk paint again, distress painted that, dry brushed it really. Do some black streaks through it and put welcome. So I made those signs for free from, that you get like at a Hobby Lobby, but for free. This is cool, this is a, a what is this, a plum tree. Okay. So I'm not gonna keep showing because I wanna do a garden tour of my backyard. This rose bush here had tons of roses, but I had to trim it back from the pool. But I think it's about to sprout a bunch more roses, so I'll show it to you guys. All right, so let me walk back over. Let me show you one more plant that's just beautiful. This has just, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Rose bushes do wonderful in the heat. Uh, we get to 116 in the summer, and my rose bushes go right through the heat. And the reason they go right through the heat, I put wood chips. Wood mulch, which is wood chips, they have them um, uh, five for 10 right now at Home Depot and Lowe's, pick some up. The wood chips keep the ground super cool, it keeps the moisture in, and the wood chips break down and feed the soil and feed your plants. I don't use any, I don't feed my plants anything, I just put wood chips down. It feeds your plants, it um, protects the soil, it feeds the soil, it keeps the moisture in the soil. Wood chips are everything, it's like the forest. How does the forest regenerate itself and feed itself? with the tree branches and the leaves that fall on the ground that's the food so spraying all this stuff on your trees uh it's not organic and it's not as good as nature so anyway look at this it, 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 it all of them are dying back now but this was just full of roses you can see how many roses was on here 
but they're all dying back and I think I got a bunch of new roses coming on here I'm looking yeah I got a bunch of buds so we should have a second round of that okay this is also turning into a garden tour I'll show you another thing okay I'm backing up see this I got this for free um, in my neighborhood the white chairs for free so I brought those home spray I was gonna I was gonna paint them but I like them white and I have them and I'm using a slow plant stands and they're little kids chairs aren't they adorable and they're not made out of wood they're made out of some type of plastic but it's really solid like a solid plastic wood I don't know and then the um, ladder I got for free so I just put all these things like I think that this log is beautiful it's from I think cut down from our tree it's not beautiful I thought that was beautiful and then these are things I just got in a garage sales and that bird cage I probably didn't pay more than a dollar or two for any of these things the the can the canisters I probably paid a quarter that I probably that bird cage probably a dollar that clock probably at 50 cents more canisters probably a quarter a piece and then these are free these are nature and then this at the very bottom isn't that beautiful I had it in my house forever but I don't have a place for it so I said I'm taking it to the garden um, I'm, I planted that with a bunch of seeds so there's a bunch of seeds in there I think marigolds and zinnias so they're coming up as you can see and then these were in my um, in my house too I didn't have room for them anymore so I brought them out to the garden because you guys you know I buy too much crap look at that it's not cool that's a mushroom now we did pay some money for that let me come around so you can see it it's really cool look at that isn't that just the coolest that mushroom there's a guy in Pismo Beach California and he does all this kind of stuff out of wood so then um, so we bought this for probably three or four hundred dollars so then I went nuts and came home and like I need to make try to make some of these mushrooms so let me just show you. I do have some mushrooms in my backyard. I have a ton of these. I used to sell them at a, um, at like this really beautiful um, gardening center, but it, they didn't sell plants. They only sold like garden decor. Getting a quick garden tour. All right, so this is some of the mushrooms. I have tons of them, but this is one of the mushrooms that I made. I was inspired by his mushrooms so I came home I bought myself a big electric saw and sander and I made them look how cool and then this is another mushroom so anyway I'll do a garden tour I want to wait to do a full garden tour for about maybe three to four weeks and the reason is is because I have a bunch of seeds in pots and in the ground that need to um, that need to grow Oh, underneath, okay, see the tables right there? Those two chairs. And then when you're seeing those two chairs, you're looking out onto the pool. But underneath the chairs are baskets, and in the baskets I put, the plant is called Rose of Something. It's a ground cover type of plant, but it really likes shade. And then I put the aloe vera cactus, the aloe vera cactus, and I put them in baskets that I got from garage sales. See? You can pick these baskets up for a quarter, 50 cents, a dollar. And look how cool. And all that, and, and, and you would think that the aloe vera, they need the sun. Aloe vera don't care. They, they will, they respond to any environment. Water, no water. Shade, sun. They don't care. I love aloe vera. Plus, they're so medicinal. So anyway, let's go back to the table. I didn't mean for this to turn into a garden tour, but... That's cool. So this is drying. We're gonna come back once I get this whole table finished and it dries, even the legs, and I'll, I'll show you the whole thing, okay? All right, so I'll see you. For you guys, it'll be about a few seconds. For me, it's gonna be a day or two. All right, be back when this is dry. Okay, you guys, I am back. Um, it's been a couple days for me, but for you, it's probably been about two seconds. So anyway, I wanted to show you how my table turned out. And I even set it up and made it look all cute and stuff. So here is a um, a view from, you know, a little bit further back. So let me come in a little closer and so you can see the top of it. 
and how it looks like stone. But I think it's so cute um, how I have it set up. I'll talk about the decor in the background, but let me show you the tabletop so you can see like the texture and stuff. Isn't that cool? Look how it looks like, um, like stone or it looks like, um, like stucco or stone or something like the table's made of stone or stucco. And this is just paint and sand. Isn't that so cool? Okay. I want to explain one, th a couple things to you. Um, on the sides, I did this on a coffee table a long time ago, but, um, when I went to go put the sand and paint mixture on the um, sides and the legs, it just kind of wanted to run down. And I think because the finish was so slick, it was fine for the top. So I probably would have had to, on this table, I probably would have had to uh, prime it first so that it wouldn't just slide off because the paint was so shiny. But on top, I didn't prime it. I just did it right on top and it was fine. Um, so most of the time you don't have to prime, you guys. Um... But on this, the finish was so slick when it came to the legs and the sides. So I just went ahead and painted them. And I just did a real quick paint job on the sides. And I even left a little bit of paint strokes in there. Which is fine because it made it look a little more aged. So I was good with that. If I wanted it perfectly painted, I could have put one more coat. But I like the streaks. So what I'm talking about is like I left some streaks in there. See? And it make, gives it that aged look. Which I think went really good with the with how the top looks just going again with the top so you guys can see how cool huh okay so how i set this up is those buckets in the corner um they have basil and thyme in both of them seeds so the plants haven't come up yet i just planted those um those i get for free you can also get those at any uh garden center they'll sell them to you for like a quarter or something those um what are those? Those are maybe three gallon buckets, I think. Something like that. And then the little saucers are from Dollar Tree that are on the bottom there to catch the water. And I stent I used a, a farmer's market stencil that I got for a dollar at the Clarence at Hobby Lobby. But they usually have that farmer's market uh, stencil there. And I used my homemade chalk paint and I um, stenciled it on there. And I what I love about it is the buckets are not perfect which gives that age look. So I just cleaned them up a little bit, but they still look kind of old and aged, which is perfect. Even when I stenciled the farmer's market on them, it's not perfectly done, look. See? And what I love that because it gives that age look like you guys know I love. Okay, and then in the middle, see these right here? This was perfect. I had bought these a long time ago, these flower market uh, EST 1953, and they are holding some of my tools. I want to go to, back to Dollar Tree just for show and to use and pick up some more shovels and rakes before they uh, get rid of all of them. At my one store, they're already all sold out, but I got to hurry up and go today and get some more because I'd like to fill these two buckets up with um, more rakes and just different little garden things as decor and to use. Um, and that's where I'll store those at. And then the two little uh, gray buckets, aren't they cute? Those are from Dollar Tree. You guys have seen those. And then, oh, and this is from the bee collection recently that came to my store. Look at these. Aren't they cute? Oh, I need to cut off that little plastic part. Sorry. I put one there and I put one there. So I think it looks really cute. This is my propagation table and um, where I'm going to, you know, pot up plants, start seedlings, all of that. And it's really nice. It's above. What's, what's behind it is this uh, tree. This tree. Let me show you. This tree. It's a palm tree. And a mulberry tree that the, the palm tree was always there okay the mulberry tree decided to plant itself there and i have cut that that mulberry tree down to nothing and then it came back again and so the mulberry tree is staying plus it has mulberries on there i love mulberries the birds love mulberries and what's cool about it is um i don't even have a water source there it just tapped into some water source underground and has grown like this so i have a mulberry tree and a palm tree intermixed and it has tons of mulberries i eat the mulberries the birds eat the mulberries also you guys i looked up medicinally because i'm an herbalist um 
if mulberries or the leaves are medicinal and the leaves are medicinal so you take the leaves you um off the plant you cook them up like i saw an asian lady did do it she cooked them up in a, a pot did she dry them first i think she dried them first so you dry them first and then you cook them up for a little bit in a pot and then you crunch them and then you can make a tincture or a tea out of it and it's good for uh, diabetes to balance out um sugar levels for diabetes so i thought that was really interesting so just wanted to let you guys see oh and then down there is a little herb garden i did the same thing i did to those um what are those those three that size bucket i'm trying to think um what size bucket it's not the smallest but it's not the largest kind of in the middle anyway i took that same stencil and stenciled all those buckets down there and that's right next to my herb tape my uh propagation table and that's all herbs uh what do i got down there well i have lavender so that's not an herb but i have lavender down there these are all seeds rosemary thyme basil and lavender down there so it's like a little herb garden right beside my propagation table so all right you guys so i just wanted you guys to see um all of this you know let me just go ahead and say goodbye the right way just one second let me pause Okay, so I just wanted to come back on so you guys can see me and just to say goodbye. Um, so you guys can see um, what you can do with just um, house paint. Um, it can be indoor or outdoor house paint. This paint did have a primer in it. It doesn't have to have a primer in it. Um, if your shiny surface, if your surface is too shiny, the tabletop part will be fine. Um, you can still just, you don't have to prime it. But if it's on the legs and the, and the, and the stuff wants to, and the, paint sand wants to run down you might want to use a primer like um like a wall primer what's that called there's this one primer it's called um kills k-i-l-t-z you can get that right next to the paint like maybe a little pint of it or something um but if it's not too shiny of a surface and i would test it out first before i would prime because i don't like priming um but otherwise you don't have to prime just mix the paint and the sand together and start trawling it on with like a big uh the the big chip paint brushes that you saw me using you can get those at dollar tree you can get those at um at home depot um and you guys saw how i did it and then um let it dry overnight by the morning it'll be good that's what i did um and then i'm going to do a video on how i mix chalk paint together and make those buckets um, so that'll be a quick 10 minute video, but it's a real, I, aren't those the cutest buckets ever? And you can get, oh, I wanted to say those buckets that, um, that I painted up and made them into planters with the uh, farmer's market on them. Um, you can get those for free. If you're a true scavenger like me, you can get those for free. Um, when you see, uh, the guys like at supermarkets or on the side of the road planting, um, stop and say hey can i have some of those buckets and they'll give them to you okay i have tons i have those i have the wait, i have the one gallon the three gallon and the five gallon that's a three gallon the ones i showed you so i had to have the super huge ones i have the small ones and the small ones i used to plant in um to plant in and stuff uh, like my seeds and stuff i want to start some seeds up and stuff so all that's for free so you can make your own planters for free okay um and then the flower market, this thing here, Dollar Tree. So when you see these at Dollar Tree, pick them up. Isn't it? Oh, they're just so cute. And then, um, one second. And then these. Oh, oh, and I'm also, um, just a second, guys. I'm trying to. Okay. And then these you can pick up at Dollar Tree. And then the bee things. I just got these, so pick them up quickly. The bee little lanterns. And they also, you can hang them. I bought enough that I can hang from my tree. Because I have a bunch of stuff hanging from trees. So I'm going to have these hanging from trees also. I bought a bunch of them. They just came out. I would advise you guys to pick up a bunch of those if you want those lanterns. Because those are going to go fast. All the bee stuff goes fast. Um, and I think that's it, you guys. Oh, the next thing we're going to do outside here is I'm just going to bring you along if you want to, just want to join my little um, journey, my little gardening journey. Um, I'm going to 
next do this armoire. The armoire I showed you in, earlier in the video, it's right next to my uh, propagation table. And that's going to be more like garden decor. So that armoire, we're going to paint it, do a distress finish. Now, this was a stucco finish, so it was distressed, but it's a stucco finish. This is a true distress finish with chalk paint, homemade chalk paint. So I'm going to show you how to make the homemade chalk paint and how to do a distress finish. It's going to be beautiful on this armoire and then it'll be filled with all kinds of garden decor. So the whole thing is just like decor. So I'm like making like a little outdoor living room on my patio. It's really cool in my garden. And then I have a, one more little shelf unit that we're going to do a distressed uh, finish on with homemade chalk paint. Okay. So that video will come out next week. So I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for this one. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. Give this video a thumbs up. Any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. Oh, and really quick, those, mag those uh, Magnolia Pearl inspired clothes that I've been making um, out of thrift store clothes, and then you alter them and do all this cool stuff to them. Um, I've made like five or six things. So next week also, I'm going to do like a little, tr a little try on thing so you guys can see how these things are turning out. They're turning out really cool. And, um, and then in the next probably four or five, four or five weeks, I'll start making videos on how to make them. Okay. Um, but right now I'm still learning and practicing, but things are coming out really cool. So I'm excited. All right, you guys, that's it. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you can give this video a thumbs up, any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. And I'll talk to you guys next video. Bye.